Hi, Dewitt. Good morning, America Exclusive. We're hearing for the first time from the family of a Florida A&M band student who died in a suspected hazing incident. ABC's Yunji Denise talked to the young man's parents who are now taking the school to court. For the champions, there is little to celebrate this holiday season. It's a place in our heart now where it's a vault. And I pray that no other kid, no other parent would have to go through what we went through. In an exclusive interview with Good Morning America, the couple and their attorney say they now plan to sue Florida A&M University and perhaps it's now fired band director. It appears that this school has done a cost-benefit analysis of hazing in this band and they concluded that the benefit of hazing outweighed the cost and that cost Robert Champion his life. Robert Champion Jr., a drum major in Florida A&M's famed Marching 100, collapsed and died on November 19th after an allegedly brutal hazing ritual following a football game. He never mentioned to me anything uh, about hazing. Champion's death was a stunning end for a boy who'd always dreamed of joining the marching band. His first uh, sight of family band was at the age of five. Police and former band members say Champion was likely forced to walk through a gauntlet of fists. He reportedly vomited and said he couldn't breathe just moments before his death. On the day Champion died, he texted his parents this photo, writing, This picture says so much. It's like I'm looking at myself. For Good Morning America, Yunji Denise, ABC News, Atlanta.